Hi folks, Max from HanaAndroid.com where we get <coughs> on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got the six variants ROM for the Galaxy S5 here. I'll actually walk you through how to install it. Um, this pretty much converts your Galaxy S5 uh, into a Galaxy S6. As you can see, they're very similar. Um, this is supported on most Galaxy S5 models, uh, the international Qualcomm models, including the SMG 900F, M, I. Uh, also, the Korean version uh, G900 L, K, and S. Uh, that's really good. And also does support American uh, T-Mobile G900 T. Uh, and also, I think Sprint is not supported yet. Also, AT&T should be supported soon. Check the XCA thread later. Um, right now, as of this video, it's not available. But uh, it should be available soon. All right, it also does come with a Roma installer. So you can install uh, a couple different kernels. But as you can see, it's exactly the same. Now, the coolest thing uh, about the Galaxy S6 um, is that this ROM also has is uh, ability to change your grid size, just like a Galaxy S6 I've got here on my left. Also, you do get a bunch of different themes. For example, if you want to change it to Avengers theme, you can go ahead and download different themes and change it. And there's actually a ton of different themes right now. You can see the speed is a little bit slower than the Galaxy S6, but you get all of the same features. But I'm going to go ahead and switch this back um, just because to show you, uh, but you can play with it. There's like a ton of themes, um, so theme alone is definitely worth the upgrade. Now as far as performance, uh, you have uh, three different kernels, like I said. You can install a stock uh, or K-Tweaker kernel, and there's one other kernel. Um, you can overclock it if you want. It actually does come overclocked to 2.72 gigahertz, I think. But I've got it underclocked right now just to save more battery life. Ah. All right, you can go ahead and it should be enabled when you install it. And that should be around 2.7 something. All right. Um, so you get overclocking if you want. If you don't have to, I, don't, I didn't see any um, performance improvements with overclocking, so that's why I clocked it down. A little bit it might actually run faster without overclocking uh, but looking very good and this is exactly ported off a of Galaxy S6 uh, so you get pretty much exactly the same I mean there are some differences like Wi-Fi says why uh, WLAN there instead um, but most of the menus are actually the same now one thing that's missing is the S6 uh, fingerprints um, that's because it's not compatible with the S5, so you'll not have ability to use your fingerprint anymore. Um, but that's kind of sad. But really cool part about this, uh, I'll show you in a second. Uh, you get the latest Android 5.0 out to Lollipop. All right, or they're actually running both K-Tweaker. I installed K-Tweaker on my S6 uh, here. Um, you can go ahead and open an app and make it small. Uh, there we go. There we go. You can have floating windows, just like the Galaxy S6. Ah, there we go. So that's really nice. That's one feature that's missing with the Galaxy S5. Uh, this is awesome. You can go ahead and open up multiple windows if you want. Oh, this one doesn't support it. Uh, but uh, many other apps you, it does support. And also for root, you have Super SU. All right. Other than that, everything is an S6 app. It's from an S6, so music app, gallery app, uh, everything should be from an S6. Um, so you should have that full S6 experience without upgrading to the Galaxy S6, the real Galaxy S6. Of course, the only thing you're missing uh, is the, uh, the fingerprint sensor, of course, the new fingerprint sensor, uh, but your heart rate still should work. And for camera, it's just a Galaxy S6, cam Galaxy S5 camera, sorry. Uh, that works just fine. And later we should be, we should also see that ported to the ROM here, uh, hopefully. But in the meanwhile, definitely check it out. And let me go ahead and walk you through for those of you new. Uh, first, you must root your Galaxy S5, of course, and uh, install CWM or Tort Recovery. Uh, if you follow my methods on galaxyS5root.com, um, that will actually install it when you root. All right, once you have installed it, download the ROM file, all right, and you can download straight to your phone, uh, or if you have a slow internet connection, I recommend using your computer because it's a lot more stable. And once you have it copied over to your phone somewhere, go ahead and power off and hold down volume up, center home, and the power button to get into your recovery. 
And I forget uh, whether I have the twerp. I think I have twerp installed. I actually prefer twerp these days. Um, twerp is more versatile. You can also use OTG cable. The latest CWM also does, but I just like the menu uh, UI better. Anyway, do a wipe. Uh, wipe to factory reset. That will erase everything. And uh, go ahead and install. And we're going to go ahead and find the six experiences dot zip. And that's pretty much it. That will install the ROM. You'll get an aroma installer uh, that will allow you to make some choices and it will show you all, oop, all of the different things you can choose. Um, again, you can go ahead and install all of these different variants. I've got the G900T, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Choose the appropriate one for you. For CSC, you can choose whatever. Uh, if you have an international phone, you can go ahead and choose one for your country. Uh, but since I have T-Mobile here and the T-Mobile is not listed, I'm just going to choose whatever. All right, here's where you can choose the kernels. Um, you can go ahead and try the k -Tune says kernel first. Buffalo kernel is also very good. If you have any battery problems with any of them or performance, you can go ahead and reinstall the ROM uh, without wipe and uh, just skip the first part I did. And also for sound, I do recommend Viper for Android. Um, for camera, you can also go with the Note 4. Uh, it's a little bit buggy, but I do recommend just going with the S5 camera. All right, and that's pretty much it. Install, uh, once it's done, reboot, and you should be on the new ROM. That's pretty much it, so definitely check it out. I uh, really like this ROM. There's a ton of great ROMs coming out right now that's gonna get you that X, S6 experience, uh, S6 experience uh, without you know upgrading your phone. It's definitely the best way to go. All right, uh, anyway, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus, and as always, I'll stay on Android.